Hey guys, welcome back here to another episode of Bush Gardens in Parkitect. Hello to all my new subscribers, thanks for joining me. Let's get straight into this week's episode. So as always, I'm just going to carry on from where I left off in the last episode. If you haven't seen that already, go and have a watch. I'm just basically building a 1950s style American area. And it's not a big area, it's more of a small passing through area for the, for the park. But I'm just going to go in and continue polishing up the edges of the dive coaster that I've been building. Thanks for you guys that have given me some name suggestions. I've got a few favourites that I've picked out. Um, so I am going along the kind of hydrogen bomb slash apocalyptic theme for this coaster. I think I might darken up the orange track a little bit um, just to make it look a bit more gritty. Um, right now it's a bit more uh, pretty looking but I do like the orange and the white theme that I've gone for with the supports and track. I'm just making like a nice entrance um, into the queue line for the ride there. And I wanted to make like a bomb as you tried uh, saw me do at the very beginning by using some of the shapes and pieces but I couldn't quite make it look quite quite right so I just kind of scrapped that idea and just gone for more of a generic entrance which kind of matches the station of the ride a little bit more. Um, so I've done that and then I'm just putting in some kind of uh, covers here on the queue line. Um, the queue kind of meanders around the bottom of the layout around to the station kind of passing through the supports and things um, and it's quite nice I'm going to kind of put some more foliage around there and hide it in a little bit. I'm just going to kind of fence off the queue a little bit though so the guests can't get into the restricted areas um, where the track comes quite low etc. And I'm just kind of making it look a bit more not so vanilla by adding those red poles there in between. Here I'm just doing the diagonal path trick which you can see in one of my tips and tricks video that I have somewhere on my channel um, just to make the path there look diagonal. So now I'm just going to do a little bit of rock work. Um, just going to add some rocks here. The terrain here kind of valleys a little bit and um, the vertical drop on the coaster drops into this kind of small valley here that I've got going on and then the bridge passing over the area or through the area goes over the bottom of the drop. So um, I've just kind of put some rocks in there just to make it look a bit more earthy or, or make it look a bit more interesting and the bottom of this drop is going to be kind of like the main kind of focus point maybe a bit more um, themed. I'm going to add obviously I've got the rocks some foliage and then I'm going to build in a second some of these kind of like I wanted to have like an idea of some broken lamp posts. I wanted it to look a bit more like a dump yard kind of really you know things have gathered there over time and it's apocalyptic and then I wanted to have these broken lamp posts. maybe this was a highway or something which takes me into a name suggestion that I was given of um, hydrogen highway which I think is quite a nice name uh, I've got some others in my head as well but this highway idea I quite like and I've gone with this kind of street lamps here and I'm going to build some custom ones and I'm just going to kind of make I put the little light sphere inside from the lights mod set from the steam workshop and I'm just kind of making like a little lamp post top and then I've made the, some of them bent just to make them look a bit broken and then I'm going to put the cables just kind of randomly on there just to make it look a bit more like wires are hanging off and then the um, particle effect um, which I think looks great at night time because it really sparks off so it really looks like they're kind of broken that's the idea behind it so that's what I've done there at the bottom of the drop and I'm just going in now from the lights mod again and just adding um, adding some red lights in some areas I think the red looks really cool at night time in, in some of the when it put the red light onto the track um, so I've just done that a little bit in some places and adding some fog um, around the bottom of the drop as well just to make a bit more of an atmosphere so that's basically kind of the the theming with um, with this coaster and of course then you've got the billboard at the end of the ride that the train passes through um, so that's cool so now I'm just going to uh, start with footers I'm not going to completely finish them in today's episode because it's quite a tedious job um, but I'm just using a square from the shapes and uh, I make a slightly smaller square and I pop it in the inside of it as you'll see in a second just to kind of make the B&M style footers um, and if you want to know exactly how I do this you can also see yeah, I think it's in the tips and tricks uh, one that I did, the video tips and tricks part one, um, which is on my channel, and uh, you can see how I do the, the footers properly, because I do go in and add all the bolts and everything into it, but I did it off camera because it's very tedious to watch, and um, I've shown you how I do it before, like I said in my tips and tricks video, um, so I don't really need to show you me doing every single support, because if I showed you me putting in every single bolt for each of these footers, we'd be here a long time, and 
uh, you'd click off because it's very boring. Um, so yeah, that's basically this uh, coaster. Um, today's quite a short video um, because I haven't really got too much to show you from this area now. I'm just going to show some screenshots at the end of um, exactly what I've uh, achieved and what I've completed in this area. Um, like I said, there's no flat ride, it's just a coaster and the diner. But uh, I will, in the next episode, I will move on to a new area and I can you know, start doing some longer episodes. But I'm just uh, tidying up the edges of the footpath. This is kind of the exit from the ride. I wanted to make a bit more of like a obvious kind of pathway up to the bridge. Um, I'm just kind of doing the fences around the outside, etc. And uh, yeah, I'm going to leave some screenshots, like I said. I've got a few nighttime shots, a few daytime shots in different angles. And if any of you do like to take a look at my track profiling or anything, I have actually changed the vertical drop in the bottom of the curve ever so slightly, just so it looks a bit more proper. I didn't feel like the vertical section was long enough. So I've changed that a little bit. Thanks for watching. Click the subscribe button if you haven't already. I really appreciate it and give me a thumbs up. And I'll see you all next time for another episode here on my channel. See you all next time. Stay cool. Bye.